Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. During the spring of 1943, tensions between the Soviet Union and the Western Allies were loosening. Yet on April 12, 1943, the German radio announced a report that, if true, would certainly not strengthen the alliance. The Poles insist that approximately 10,000 Polish soldiers and officers who volunteered to fight with the Red Army are missing somewhere in Russia. The Germans say they have found the graves of these men near Smolensk, that neutral parties have identified them, and that there's no doubt but what they were executed by the Russians. In what came to be known as the Katyn Massacre, the bodies of thousands of Polish soldiers, all bound and shot in the back of the head, had been found in eight communal graves in the Katyn Forest. The Germans said the officers had been rounded up by the Soviets in 1939 and 1940 and later killed. Germany's word machine has scored a victory. Russia has severed relations with the Polish government in exile, accusing the Poles of being in league with the Nazis. The break follows a German report that the Russians murdered 10,000 Polish officers near Smolensk, a charge which the Poles asked the International Red Cross to investigate. Moscow lays the murders at Berlin's doorstep and says the Poles have joined the Germans in a slanderous campaign. The quarrel is a challenge flung at the young and loose structure of the United Nations. It's the most serious problem so far, one which, if settled to the satisfaction of all concerned, will give the United Nations new strength and new vigor for the problems of the whole post-war peace. There is no reason to exaggerate the importance of the dispute. It's an old one. Its final outcome will be determined by the outcome of the war. Medical evidence finally proved that the Poles had been killed in 1940 by Russian guns, probably fired by members of the KGB's predecessor. But it was almost 50 years before the truth was fully known. I'm Ed Hurley. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.